Welcome back to Cadet Zone News. I'm Gabe Slavin, and thank you for joining us. Today we'll be talking about some recent sports news, some segments, and an interview from the Yearbook Club. Last week was varsity football against North Fayette Valley, and it was a cold one. But nothing could stop the high-flying cadets who went on a 19-7 domination of the North Fayette Valley football team. Tomorrow they play Monticello at Monticello. Masks are required if you are planning to attend the game. This upcoming events this week is today, the cross-country team will head up to Jessa for conference. Be sure to go down and support the cadets as they run. It will be a bit windy tonight, so be sure to have some layers on. Tomorrow is round two of the Iowa State playoffs, and the cadets are squaring up against Monticello. It is going to be a good one. It is also going to be cloudy in the, and in the high 50s and low 60s, so bring a sweatshirt in case of rain. Masks are required if planning on attending games Friday night, and if you do not want to take the two-and-a-half-hour trip, Cadet Zone will not be able to live stream the event Friday due to lack of space for recording. And today we have some people from the Yearbook Club here to talk about the salute and the upcoming installments. So guys, how's your day been so far? Good. All right. So about the salute, what is it all about? Like, what do you guys do? Um, the salute is the school magazine, and we try and hit school events that are happening or what are going to happen in the future. All right. What are your goals for the salute? Um, our goals are to cover students that aren't normally like highlighted in sports. Um, and we just try and let people know what's going on in school. Hmm. And there's like this new installment coming out. What's that installment about? Uh, um, new November. New November. Um, we're hitting all of the new classes, new clubs, new students in our school, etc. All right. Well, thanks for the interview, guys. Yeah. Bree Rodney, Cadet Zone News Anchor, interviewed the cross-country team on the upcoming conference meet in Jessup. Hello. Welcome back to the Cadet Zone Sports. <laughs> My name is Bree Rodney, and I will be interviewing some cross-country members today. So, you can introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Kendall Slavin. I'm a junior, and I've been in cross-country for five years. Um, I'm Olivia Olendick. I'm a sophomore, and I've been in cross-country for four years. Uh, I'm Luke Stortz. I'm a sophomore, and I've been in cross-country for four years. And I'm Justin Neibauer. I'm a senior, and I've been in cross-country for six years. What is your guys' favorite route to run in practice? Well, my favorite route is probably Kings Bridge. Mine's probably running to the cemetery before every meet. My favorite is Kings Bridge, too. My favorite is the uh, one where we run a loop around uh, Vernon Springs and we end by the water. Okay, um, where is your guys' meet at tomorrow? Jessa? What time do you guys run? Four, I think. Varsity girls run at four yeah. and then varsity boys run at 4.30. Okay, is there any Anything else that spectators should know if they're planning on coming? You mask have to up. wear a mask. Yeah, I have to wear a mask Mandatory. if you want to watch. Wards at 515. You have to wear a mask that too. Is that the golf course? Yep. Um, who qualifies for state? Like what? Top 15, 15 individuals and then top three teams. What have you guys been working on in practice preparation for tomorrow? Um, we've been doing ty different types of pace work. Some mileage. Okay, and then what are some big competitions that we should look out for tomorrow? Um, well, for the girls, Jessup's really good. Starmont? Starmont's really good. They're the, at least the top ten in ranked in state. Um, walk on. Walk on. They're just always good. And then, yeah, Tipton. For the boys, uh, Tipton is the second ranked team, defending state champs. And I think walk on and North Fayette are ranked 11th and 12th. And then we're like a team to watch, so we're like 16th. Okay, thank you for joining the Cadet Zone Sports. That was so great. Bree Rogney also had a segment with Aaron Randek on So Square. Here's what they had to say. Welcome back to the R Squared Show. I'm your co-host Aaron Randek, joined by Bree Rogney. Today we'll be talking about a few topics, one of them being FCA. Bree, what is FCA? FCA is Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and we have our third meeting this Sunday at 6 o'clock in the Student Center on October 25th. There will be food, games, and lots of fun, and so we hope to see you there. 
Yeah, uh, there are a few signs around school that may or may not have the wrong date. Uh, that's my bad. It's all right, though. We'll move on. They're fixed now. They are fixed, most of them. Uh, now we'll be moving on to the football game on Friday, which is at? Monticello. They are, I believe, something and one this year. They're a pretty good team, but, uh, you know, should be a good matchup on Friday. Then we have cross country tomorrow in? Jessup, and they... I believe girls start at 4.15 and guys are after, 4 o'clock, <laughs> one or the other. Um, and it's districts, so top 15 individual qualify for state and top three teams qualify for state. So it'll be a good matchup for both girls and boys tomorrow. Uh, and finally, we'll be talking about the volleyball season, which ended on Monday, unfortunately, losing to Osage, the number one ranked team in the state. Uh, yeah, they played a pretty good matchup, but uh, ended up losing 3 nothing. Any thoughts on that, Bree? Nope. Okay, and that's going to do it for this week on the R Squared Show. We look forward to seeing you guys next time. Well, that's all the time we have for the news today. Be sure to remember the cadets three W's. Wash your hands, wear a mask, and watch your social distancing. Stay classy, Crestwood. Go cadets. Hello, welcome back to the Cadet Zone Sports YouTube page. My name is Brew Agni. Cut, cut, cut. What? <laughs> cut. what?